what's going on guys welcome back to tactical talks so this video is going to be a lot of me just standing here and talking hence the name tactical talks i know a lot of times i do show you guys videos of guns or shooting stuff like that um, this one's going to be more of me talking so as you can probably already tell from the title i'm over here dropping stuff if you can tell from the title we're going to go over how much i spent out of pocket for the gear that i carry now for those of you who are looking to be law enforcement you may not have to spend this much money some of the stuff that i bought are just extras on top of stuff that was issued to me so you don't necessarily need to carry some of the stuff that i carry but a lot of this stuff is stuff that i felt like i wanted to carry so i bought extras so this is my uh outer vest rig so go ahead and get a good look at that because i'm not going to hold it up as i talk about everything i'm going to go down the list that i have written down on my phone but this is what i carry up top my magazines, my taser, my tourniquet, my microphone, um, handcuffs, all that stuff. So there's that. And then my duty belt that I showed you guys that is now very minimalistic. Flashlight holder, I don't have my flashlight, it's actually charging. Um, an AR mag, my pistol with the Safari, uh, Safari Land holster, we'll get to all the parts of that. And then another set of handcuffs. And then a little key clip down there. So pretty basic like I said if you guys want go check out my other video and I'll explain in that video everything um, that is on my belt why it's there that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go refer back to my phone the very first thing that I want to talk about is all of the kydex gear that's holding most of the stuff up the radio the mic holder the uh, handcuff holders that kind of stuff all of that is from zero nine tactical so unfortunately YouTube doesn't like me to leave all those stuff linked down below, so I'm just going to talk about it. If you want to know, rewind the video, um, so and you can find all the stuff. So zero nine tactical, I paid $125 for all of that Kydex. So that's the first thing. The second thing is ASP handcuffs. Now, my department issues out Smith and Wesson handcuffs, and I have nothing against Smith and Wesson handcuffs, but I'm the type of person where if I can lighten the load even just a little bit. On top of the fact that I wanted to have more sets of handcuffs than just the ones that they issued me, I bought uh, ASP handcuffs. So two sets of ASP handcuffs, $100. The next thing is the mag pouch that you guys saw on the vest that holds three Glock mags. That pouch alone um, cost me $23. Safari Land holster. Now, the holster itself, that's not including the uh, QLS system, the holster itself, I ended up buying that on Amazon while it was on sale for $75. So I got a really good deal on that. Safari Land mag pouch that we just talked about, like I said, it holds three Glock mags. Um, I was issued two Glock mags, two extra ones, and then the one that's in the gun. So I have an extra one on me. So I'll pay $25 for that Glock mag. My Streamlight Stinger, which is my primary flashlight, like I said, it's charging right now, I don't have it on me. I paid $130 for that light. My Streamlight Stylus, which is the small light that I carry on my vest, is kind of one of my backups. Um, I paid $20 for that. The Taser that's on my vest obviously was issued to me, but I didn't like the holster that they gave me, so I bought the uh, Blackhawk Serpa um, Taser holster. And for that, I paid $45. My tourniquet was issued to me in my medical gear, but other than just throwing it in my pocket, I really didn't have a way to carry it. So I went on Amazon and I bought the tourniquet holder that you saw there for $37. The taser is set up. I, I bought a, a plate to mount the taser initially. I didn't like how big it was, how much room it took up. And I'll show you guys in another video how I mounted that exactly. But that and the mag pouches are both mounted up with Blackhawk speed clips. So those speed clips, I paid $10 for six speed clips. Um, the belt itself, my uh, duty belt, just the outer one. I just wear a regular um, nylon belt underneath. I paid $40. It's a Bianchi belt. Now, something to keep in mind is that my department issued me leather gear. So they issued me a belt, they issued me a handcuff pouch, a radio pouch, um, ass pouch, spray pouch, a holster. They issued me all these things. I'm just not a huge fan of the leather. I wear that when I have to go to court. So if I'm not in court, 
I don't like to mess that up. I don't like to wear that all the time and have it wear down. So I bought this nylon gear and that's what I wear. So that's why I bought all these things. So for those of you who may have a question of didn't your, didn't your department issue that or why didn't they issue that? They did. They just didn't issue what I wanted. So that's why I upgraded to what I have now. The next thing is the key clip. Very simple, very easy. $7. I uh, bought that online. The flashlight holder is also Bianchi Acumold. I paid $12 for that. The AR magazine that you see on there is just a Magpul 10 round magazine that I paid $14 for. And then the base plate that's on the bottom is from Strike Industries. Um, it's the EMP, I think it's the Enhanced Mag Plate. And I paid $12 for that. The QLS system that I've talked about in previous videos, go and check that out if you guys haven't seen that, is what disconnects my entire holster from my duty belt. Um, I pay $23 for that. And then the very last thing I have is to keep my belt up. I paid $10 for four belt keeps. So kind of a lot of stuff. And like I said before, you guys don't have to buy all these things if you're looking at going into law enforcement. And it's definitely not something that you have to buy all at once. Um, what I did was when I started going through the academy, I started buying little pieces here and there and then I've upgraded as time has gone on so this wasn't a all at one expense don't think that you have to go out and buy these things like I said you, you don't have to go out and buy a lot of these things I just decided I wanted to upgrade my things and I did it slowly and it put me to where I am today and this is what I'm comfortable running I'm very happy with the way I run things now I'm comfortable with where everything is it's just this is what works for me and I just wanted to show you guys that like I said everything is right here if you guys were keeping up with the total down there that brings us roughly to seven hundred and eight dollars now that doesn't include shipping on some of the things a lot of it was free but you got shipping on some of that there's taxes and some of that I just kind of rounded up so that's just a roundabout number if you want to set up like mine if you're going for this look or this you know set up this type of deal expect to spend about seven hundred dollars so if you guys have any questions about anything specific on my you know vest on my belt comment down below I'll be more than happy to answer your questions if you guys know of something better that I maybe don't have or something better that I can do as far as the way I run my belt or my vest or just better gear that would hold my stuff um, comment down below I like to read those as well I like to look at new stuff I'm always looking at new gear and trying to see how I can just get better and uh, just be better overall. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this law enforcement style um, content. There's more to come. Like I said, I have a lot of ideas. It's just a matter of getting all this stuff out to you guys. If you guys haven't seen my shirt, this is the latest Wolfpack shirt. It's got the Wolfpack logo with the thin blue line flag inside the logo. And then on the back, it says the Wolfpack has my back. So this is the latest shirt that I've come out with. Make sure to check down the links down in the description. If you guys want to check out my podcast, if you want to check out my merch store, just kind of a little bit of everything. Oh, and my Patreon account is listed down there. So this is this video was kind of made with and because of my Patreon uh, members, my Patreon squad. I put a quick little poll on there asking these guys, what I should make the next video on and this is what was selected as far as the two options that I had on there the other one is gonna be a video coming down the line and if you check out my patreon page there's a quick I think five six minute video that those guys got extra so there's extra content that gets posted on the patreon side exclusive content they get it sooner than everybody else so if you guys are thinking about checking that out you like my videos my content you want to see more of it go ahead and check that out but kind of summed up Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe down below, comment, hit that like button, um, share this video if you know anybody who is in law enforcement or looking at going into law enforcement. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.